Boogie Land Race uh, 2017 4.0 uh, at the Ferencaral track in Madrid. Uh, first impressions, super cool track. I think they improved since last year. Uh, a bit more technical and stuff. So, um, Sack and I here, we're going to show you around the track, we thought. So, here in front of the driver's stand, we have a pretty big double, I would say. It was here last year as well. Uh, they have some fencing here on the inside for, for the pit guys to be safe uh, if some cars uh, won't make it on to the, to the landing over there. So, but uh, what's your first impression, Zach? Yeah, I think this, uh, this double has been here since, since the start of uh, Fuencaral track. They have, uh, remained, it has remained here, I think, for four years now. And it's like the icon for the track. So they never change this double. It's always the same. So it means you're going to be very fast here. No, <laughs> not really. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're coming over the double. Then we have like a corner yeah, tape. Scrub. Yeah, you will be scrubbing. I will be struggling. <laughs> so we come to a, uh, what do you call this? Uh, I would say uh, it's a big tabletop roller or something. You're probably going to lift a little bit here, but not too much. And uh, you go into a left left hander over a nice another little roller. Uh, it's pretty pretty much elevated here. This track it's a it's a three D track for sure. You can see the here. Yeah, the elevation is pretty big as, at at uh, some places. So it will be uh, interesting to see the first few cars go around the track. I think um, here we come up to a nice little corner table uh, with a pretty steep lip here coming in. Zacharias is probably going to be here in the first first run, I, I'm sure. I'm going to I'm gonna make sure to watch him tomorrow. So well, what do you say? Are you going to be inside? Or gonna yeah, be I will try to not, not to be, but yeah, probably I will. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to be coming over this pretty slow, actually, so you don't uh, grip roll when you set your uh, wheels on the track again. We come to a little, uh, not a lot of kick here, a double. Well, you're probably going to go full gas out of the corner just to make it. It seems it's not so much kick, so, yeah. Coming. Also, it also depends on the grip. We don't know. They have a lot of these uh, bags here filled with uh, sugar, I believe it is. I don't know Spanish, but it yeah. says Blanco. I guess it's sugar. You can, you can ask for that, Zach. <laughs> is it sugar? Yeah, it is sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Azúcar. 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 Yes. Yeah, so we might have a high bike track here tomorrow. Um, but, I mean, last year... I would say the track was kind of medium bite, uh, not too much. Not, I mean, it was it was a good, I mean, decent amount of traction, uh, but the track stayed very smooth. I mean, unfortunately, we had the rain here uh, last year, so it rained out, and we weren't able to run the finals. Uh, but this year, it looks way better with the weather, and it's two months early as well in the calendar. Uh, but yeah, back to the track. Uh, coming down that hill, that small little double. Uh, there is a jump section here. I mean. There's uh, one, one line through here, I think. It's a double-double. Not very high either. It's uh, pretty small doubles here. Coming to a right-hander. Uh, I mean, Miguel seems to like the, those... Uh, I don't know. It's a kind of a corner step. Yeah, corner. It's like a two-step corner something. I don't know. But it's a pretty steep hill here again. I'm sure you're gonna, you want to be pretty close to this, uh, to this piping here. And the piping is pretty low as well. So we'll see. Uh, I mean... A few cars are for sure going to be on the inside. Sack is one of them. And <laughs> we will see it tomorrow. But uh, this, uh, this part of the track looks really cool. Yeah. It's in an angle, uh, which I think is really good because it's kind of, I mean, it's the lane that is furthest away from the, tri uh, from the driver's stand. So you will be able to see uh, where your car is on the, is on the track here uh, for sure. But the jumps here are pretty big, uh, nice and flowy. Lips are not too... Uh, I mean, they're not so sharp either, so you're gonna you're gonna be pretty low, I would say. But jumping, corner, you can say. I think we're just gonna roll it over and uh, get a good line over the double, and uh, doesn't seem very hard this one. No, uh, I mean, except for the jumps in the back, the jumps here are pretty low. Yeah. I mean, you're not gonna send your car up in the air like 10 feet or so. It's only the jumps in the back, which are not still. I mean, sure, how, how high your car will be. It will be jumping super fast because the lip looks pretty low. But yeah, all the jumps here are pretty low except for the jumps in the back and the big double in the front. So, but it will be nice. I mean, it, it's a super cool track. Yeah. Yet again, another small kick and a small jump. You come over here and then you land basically in the corner 
and we have the straightaway where we will be starting in in the final. So uh, it's not a, a long straight at all. It's I don't know, probably like 30 meters or something like that, 35 maybe. And uh, how many cars do you think will hit that inside tire? Yeah, probably a few. Probably yeah. a few. I think you will be fine this time. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, David seems really conf <laughs> confident <laughs> about this race. Um, will, you, will, will you continue your winning strike from previous two uh, races, David? Well, I mean, I, I hope I can. Uh, that's the goal. Uh, I mean, every time I come racing. So, uh, last year I was struggling a little bit. But, I mean, as well, we didn't get to run the final, so it could have been different there. Uh, this, this time, um, I feel like I... I'm in a good rhythm right now, coming from the Euro Euro win here at the E-Buggy uh, Euros and, and the Italian job win in Nitro. So two pretty big races with lots of the big names uh, where I, I was able to win. So it would be nice uh, to get the cars out here and, and uh, fight with all the guys. It's cool to see Jared coming over from, from the States. Last year we had Cav and, and um, Lutz as well, right? So uh, yeah, it, it, I think it's one of the races you definitely want to put in the calendar. Miguel has done a great, great job. He's excellent at building the tracks, as you can see. Um, so yeah, overall, I mean, I enjoy being here. The weather is nice and I mean, it's way better than Sweden, so I don't complain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the last part of the track. Sorry if we got a bit, I mean, outside the, the subject here, but one last 180 coming on, drop off with a ba nice banking here and uh, onto the front straight away with the big double. Uh, pretty big uh, wide entry to the to the pit lane one of those uh, wood things on here so you can jump in there and, and hit in the mechanics which is good so uh, yeah that's uh that's the boogeyland track 4.0 2017 and uh we can't be we can't wait to get to the track tomorrow and, and put our cars here thanks Zach, for the for joining me here on the <laughs> <laughs> on the track walk how was it it was really nice yeah i think uh, actually Miguelo and the whole team here in Front Corral, they have done a really great job putting putting everything together. They they do a huge job on, on the track. They start like one week ago and they've been working every day for like massive hours. And it's really nice to have a, a big race as this in Spain on on a 3D layout, uh, like American style layout. And, and yeah, I'm really nice and, and happy to, to be part of it and can't wait to get on the track tomorrow.